Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good today. Well, today I'm going to show a beginning gardener uh, or anybody that has had problems with growing potatoes what to do to prep your soil this fall so you get a good harvest next year. Now, I've done it this way for three years and um, it has worked good for me. And I've just, I've been getting some really good harvest and I'm very, very confident that this will work for you. So what I did was is I picked out, I'm going to have a 20 foot by 8 or 40 foot, I'm sorry, a 20 foot wide by 40 foot long area where I'm going to plant my potatoes. And I kind of started right here and what I did was is I just tilled it up and I went down about an inch deep. And so all I'm doing there is, is I'm just wanting to rake the, the roots and stuff out of it that I don't want in there. Now, the first thing that is very, very important to get really good potatoes, you have to get your pH right, okay? So, especially for a beginning gardener, take a soil test. See where your pH is at. A potato really wants to be around a six to a six and a half. So... If you have clay soil, chances are I have clay soil and it's going to run a little bit high. And so when I test mine, it's usually around a seven, a little bit higher. So what I've been doing in the past is, is um, I've been adding garden sulfur and this has worked really well. And so all I do is, is I've been adding between a pound and a pound and a half for every hundred square feet and so I've got 800 square feet so I want somewhere between 8 and 12 pounds of, of garden sulfur now uh, at the end of the video I'm going to explain to you why I might add a little bit more garden sulfur than you would but that is, is what I use to get my pH down where you know a, a potato the um, needs that lower because if the pH isn't right your plant can't take in nutrients and so you can put all the nutrients in the ground you want you can use all the organic matter that you want uh, all kinds of fertilizers but your plant will not be able to take them in as good so if you've grown them in the past and you've only got real small potatoes check the pH and I was nervous about doing this the first year that I did it. And uh, all I do is I just spread it out real, real even. And it just seems to work really good. Now, you have to do this in the fall. I'm going to be planting potatoes in April. And so I want that garden sulfur in my soil five months earlier because the pellets that I showed you, they really don't do anything. It has to be broke down by the bacteria in your soil in order to lower that pH. So you have to start that in the fall um, in order for it to work. So before I get into the next thing, and this is just as important, um, if you enjoy the video, uh, you know, check out some of my other ones. And if you like them, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it and it is free now uh, the other thing is is you do have to feed them and I think this is another thing where people they just don't give them enough food and so what I'm going to use is is I'm going to use grass uh, with leaves and I'm gonna I've got my uh, homemade lawn and leaf vacuum and I'm gonna uh, just really really I'm gonna put four or five inches down and then I'm going to let that set there. And now this is where you might be a little bit different, but um, I'm going to till that in. I'm going to till that garden sulfur in. But with any soil, but especially clay soil, you do not want to leave that exposed over the winter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put more on top of that. And so um, I'm going to give them a lot of, uh, organic matter for that bacteria to feed on to make food for my plants now one thing you have to understand is is um, 
your soil likes a balance it, re it really does and so it doesn't matter what you're using if you're using straw hay you know whatever organic amendments that you're, you you want to be using you need a good carbon to nitrogen ratio in that and so you can see uh, I'm getting a lot of leaves but I'm not getting a lot of grass now um, I, you know, I, I'm probably going to end up with more carbon than I will nitrogen. So um, what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to add manure to this. And I'm going to use either like hopefully like an aged pig manure or a rabbit manure. And if you do this, if you want to add that little bit of extra nitrogen to it, you have to understand that manures can make your pH go up but uh, you know so that's why I might add just a little bit more garden sulfur than somebody else but this organic matter especially I like to till it in that first time because it really does help break that clay soil up you know it gets I think it gets it down there in that soil let me know let me know what you think but I think it gets it down there and that bacteria breaks it up and then I put that that uh, layer on top and basically what I'm doing is just you know sheet mulching where you know it's going to sit there and them leaves are going to break down and then in the fall when I or in the spring next year when I get ready to plant it's going to it's just going to be real nice to till in and um, you know it's last three years it has just worked really well doing it that way. So, um, again, my best advice, do this in the fall. Let everything have a chance to break down. And uh, I really do think that you'll have a lot of success. Well, that's the video. And, uh, you know, share your ideas. I always love to hear the comments. Well, I'll talk to you later. See ya.